Using PaintShop Pro or other similar tools, you can knock out the background of a photograph, make it transparent, and paste it into another photograph. First we're selecting two files. This is a photograph of a beach in uh, Natal, Brazil. And here we have a photograph of my lovely wife Kim in Switzerland. So Kim would rather go to the beach. So what we're going to do is select the background eraser and we're going to use the default tool which is set up and you can see the different uh, conditions up above but right now it's set for uh, contiguous and continuous so it continuously samples the pixels that the point of the brush is on and there are many many different setups to do this type of erasing so it depends mostly on the foreground and background uh, you'll find as you practice with these tools and practice is really the only way uh, to perfect this uh, this is not a stellar work, this is to show you how it works. The background eraser, while useful, leaves a lot of spots that you'll probably want to remove with just a normal eraser. But extremely handy when there's a good contrast between the part you want to keep and the background. Of course a green screen is great for that but you don't always have that available. As you can see as the background varies and has lots of different shapes and colors and particularly if the background is very close in color and texture to the foreground you'll probably be better off in those areas just using the normal eraser which I'm using now to uh, clear out the background. The checkerboard you see in the back can be changed to uh, anything you like to have. Uh, that's the default the checkerboard pattern that shows a transparent background. I use a wheel mouse and just twisting the wheel can zoom in and zoom out which is very handy when you're doing this type of operation. Using the standard eraser you can clean up the little spots left by the background eraser. As you can see in this area, even though the brush is much larger than the area that I want to erase, it knows the difference. So simply erases and looks for the edges. I've changed the tool to find edges. Just so you can see the comparison, you see how the find edges works better in many areas.
Switching back to the regular eraser, increasing the size and wiping out large areas. There's several different ways this can be done. Uh, this is quick and dirty. Gets the job done. Once you have it cleaned up, what you want to do just to check your work is add another layer, make sure that your foreground is on top of the layer, then choose that layer, make sure you do that part. Then I'm going to pick the fill in tool and I'm going to fill it with a dark color and see if there's any white spots that I missed and then simply doing an undo and filling it with white uh, you'll see that uh, you can see a number of smudges clean up the smudges when you're cleaning up the smudges it's important that you choose the foreground, even though it appears they're on the white background, they're not. They're on the foreground. So make sure you choose the foreground layer and remove the smudges from the foreground. Before I go ahead, I'm going to use one of the tools to lighten up the photograph, do a photo fix. In reality, you may want to spend more time on this depending on what the project's going to be used for, but this is a quick and dirty fix. Now, of course, you could just use Control C and copy this, then select the other photograph and do a Control V. I'm doing it the long way on the screen so you can see it's edit, copy, select the other picture, paste, select my pick tool, move the new layer where I want it, size it however I want it, I can mirror it, flip it, if I'd rather have our toast from the other side. And that's it. Kim's gone from Switzerland to Natal, Brazil. She much prefers the beach. <laughs>